Ok guys, how you doing? It's Huck here again. Another Monday, another Zero Time Dilemma. Today, we're going to get stuck into another Q team. Uh, as we can see by the flowchart. I've worked out what the flowchart is actually. Yeah. Uh, this is obviously when D team was killed. This was when Q team was killed. And this one was when C team was killed. This one is where nobody was killed, right? Because there was a decision here as to if you vote for a team, uh, the team that gets the most votes gets killed, okay? And apparently there was four possible outcomes and it's basically playing out the four outcomes. This is it. Now, my guy, the, I've already completed the game four times, I think. Four times? Uh, are, are the games ended at least? Uh, but these are all endings. These are all possible endings. There you go. And there's also oh. a... No, I want to play. I want to play. What? Okay. okay, how do we do this? Team select. Q team. Thank you. Select a story fragment. Oh! This is strange. Well, because I've no fucking idea why. One is went to, into the, the future time dimension type yoke. So I guess this is what it is. But we're going back to D team. There we go. Most of the people that. Door of Truth. Yeah, last week we switched this on. So there's now two of these two guys hanging around somewhere. The Did ones that went in the future and the ones really that didn't. Work? Well, we got into the input pods, and we came out of... The export pods? Oh. Diana, look at your watch. 1805. Well, we climbed into the pods around 1.30 in the morning on New Year's. So, we went back in time? But... Huh. Could be possible that it's 1805 on January 1st, though. Good point. But it also means it could be two or three days off. Or even three or four years. There's no way to know the exact date or time. Was it them that set the dogs what we up? See on this watch dog? Could be fake. Mm -hmm. We have no idea. Um, curious Sigma, or curious? Can I ask you something? You were the one who prepared everything on the input console, right? Yes. Where exactly did you set it to? What do you mean, where? The transfer point for the transporter. Uh... I don't know. What? It's not my fault. We didn't have time. I, I, I couldn't read any of the text on the display, so... I pushed a random button. A random? It it doesn't matter. It's still highly likely we came out in an alternate history. And if that's true... If I could be here... Bye! 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 It doesn't look like she's here. Judging by the flow, 
chat. This is just a straight. This is. Tell me you're safe. Where are you? Answer me! Um, Sigma? I'm not really sure, but... Maybe... the history we're in... What was that? It won't open. Anyway, let's find a way out of here. We'll talk later. Okay, sorry, back to the arrows. But the lawnmower. Let's let's examine the hair dryer. Must be restarted to unlock the door. Okay. Let's see if we can. Violet, white, blue, red. Simple enough. So, what one of them's fucking violet and what one's blue? Violet, white, blue, red. Oh. 
Let's take that hose to clap onto this.
Oh, tá isso aqui. Okay. Fill a submerged power supply in water to restart. There's a hole in me bucket, my bucket, my bucket. There's a hole in my bucket, my bucket. I want it to hit the switch. So I can put the fucking. Yeah. Fucking retard. Guess the keys for the VIP toilet. This seems pretty basic enough, so we have to empty this. Then the way we go to here. Okay, was lovely. Else, you know. Yeah. No. 
Oh, so we need to connect one end to the wall, is it? Okay, one end to show it. the hose on the far right the right size <coughs> ah Thoroughly. Ah! Fuck, how did that happen? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's going to be difficult to remember. <laughs> Let's see if I can remember that. I know it was, but... Now that's 7 and 8, and that's 9. Yeah, there is, but I just I was trying to remember them. 
Right, it's the top right middle. Middle. Middle, middle, middle. I know I'm not gonna get it, I know I'm not gonna get it, but I just wanna fucking try. Uh, okay. So top right mid middle 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 Ho ho Son. But that side is. Music box and then run to the
Fill the room with water. Okay, that was easy enough. Only one real puzzle and no really. Why is there a door here? I was right. This door isn't marked on the map. It won't open? Nope. It's locked up tight. It looks like you need to put a code in here. Anything come to mind? All I can tell is that it's an eight-digit number. Eight-digit eight number. Hmm. You cut me. How am I supposed to know? How are you supposed to know? Guys, if you've played this before, tell me what I missed. Because I've no idea what I'm supposed to put in here. I can't think of any. 
anything. I wonder if there are any hints around here. <sighs> hints. Hints. What the actual fuck? What in the world is going on? We went into the input pots, and now we came right back out of the same ones. But not the export pots. Did the process fail? No, wait. Hold on a sec. Let me think about this for a minute, okay? Get it now. You understand what happened? Remember what Zero said. This transporter isn't one that simply teleports various objects. What is transferred is only the atomic data. The object itself does not get transported. I remember one time with my grandma years ago. The first time she sent me a fax, she said, The paper came back, Sigma. Maybe it didn't go through successfully. It's the same thing. Just like how the fax doesn't send the actual paper, we too... Our original bodies remain. And only the red data went to the transfer point? But there's one thing I don't get. Why is this me, the one that stays? If our data did end up transferring correctly, it wouldn't have been a surprise to see we were in the transfer point world. So why are we still here? And is there any eight digit fucking numbers lying around? <sighs> Sorry, I know how strange this sounds. It's clearly an esoteric conundrum. Even after thinking extensively on it, I'm not sure I'd figure it out. But I do know one thing for sure. We've run out of cards in our deck. Oh.
door the chest. Why is there a door here? I was right. This door isn't marked on the map. It won't open? Anything come to mind? <sighs> All I can tell is that it's an eight-digit number. An eight-digit number? Right, this is obviously something that jumps another gap, another fragment. Because we're not going to get that. I'm not going to get this. I'm sorry. I can't think of anything. Wonder if there are any hints around here. Hints. Hints. Okay, so that's a strange one. Uh, I'm just going to save. It'd be so easy just to Google it, do you know what I mean? I mean, I'm 10 weeks into this game. Every day that's completed it's already completed it and this conversation's been had. But I don't want to do that. Uh, so I'm going to play on next week and try and work out where I'm going to get an 8 digit code from. Uh, yeah. Don't know what else to say here. So thank you for watching if you have done. Uh, if you haven't then you're, I'm obviously talking to myself. You have to, it's so pointless to say anything else. Next week, part 11, we'll go through some of the other threads and see if we can find uh, an end that we can use to help tie off this one. Till next time guys, this is Huck. Peace.